We're here with Syngenta and their three seed companies, and with the robust market for seed, we've posed the questions to each of these groups. We want to know what's been hot, what's sold out, and what's available for seed. Yes, we have uh, had a really good year on the corn side of the business, and we've got 8953, which is one of our products that contains our AgriSure traits, uh, has done very, very well. It's a, a corn bore Liberty Link uh, rootworm product. We also had uh, 9416, which uh, uh, contains our our uh, uh, full stack and full complement of AgriSure traits. Uh, on the soybean side of things, things have moved very, very well, particularly in the uh, fuller season varieties. Our, our late group threes, group fours, and group fives varieties of soybeans have, have virtually sold out. So we have uh, S37, uh, 37 P5s and S39 uh, A3s, which have done extremely well. As far as uh, what's sold out, again, those are the products that are probably uh, tightest in supply and what's left to, to, to buy. We've got a pretty full complement of our um corn and soybean varieties, uh, I think uh, like with uh, every, every seed company, there's always room to find more products. For us, what's hot is um, you know, our AgriSure traits in the marketplace uh, this year. We have a lot of our uh, new material that we've released recently, and um, you know, we're getting a good footprint out there with the growers, so that's been extremely hot for us on the corn side. On the soybean side of things, um, you know, what we're managing is inventory with acres going up in our area. You know, acres are probably going to go up million, million in, um, you know, the tri-state area. So we're managing tight soybean supplies. Fortunately, we produced a great number of soybeans, and we're probably in good a shape as anybody in the industry. But um, that's what's sold and that we're trying to manage to a real tight level, especially in that group three and four market. Um, what's left available is really those last decisions. You know, we still think there's growers that are flexing those last 10-15% of the acres. Uh, the markets are crazy right now and trying to buy acres here and there. And I think that's what's left is uh, those planting time decisions. And much of our world would be weather driven as we go south because we don't have fertilizer on and we could still make that call. Uh, first of all, what's hot this year are AgriSure traits, especially our 3000 GT, which is our triple stack event with uh, AgriSure RW, AgriSure GT, and our corn bore uh, resistant technology is hot. That was the first product line that really sold out, and it's in big demand. Uh, gosh, you look at commodity prices now, farmers have a great opportunity to make additional revenue with co commodity prices, and they want all the technology they can get in a bag of seed to maximize yields. Uh, secondly would be the later maturity soybeans. Um, Industry-wide there's a challenge in group four and later beans with quality and supply and uh, right now we're we're sold out totally of group four soybeans and even some of the later threes, three nines. Um, Industry-wide there's a big demand for those and really would advise growers to make sure they got a firm soybean supply if they haven't done so already. Um, What's left? Uh, we do happen to have a 3.8 soybean and a 3.2 soybean. Both are newer varieties that we were really excited about. They performed really well last year, so we took some big production risks. And uh, we have a 38D5, a 32E2 left. And there's also some supplies of some of our newer corn hybrids left as well. Uh, maybe not necessarily triple stack, but some of the new base genetics that are left that are still very good hybrids if, if farmers have a need to finish their corn purchase decisions yet. Yeah.